It's day 36 and there's still no budget compromise in the works. Both the House and Senate were back in Springfield today, but the political rhetoric is still going. Fox State House reporter Jordan Abadea breaks down the latest action. For months, we've heard about the five turnaround agenda items that Governor Bruce Rauner wants to see passed before he'll agree to a tax increase to balance the budget. And now it seems like one of those attempts at compromise is already dead on arrival. Senate President John Cullerton worked to get his version of a property tax freeze bill passed in the Senate. The House says they will take a look at the measure next week. We want to take an opportunity to learn more about the bill. All right, so you know it's a multifaceted bill. And there's a lot in there, and, and so we think we need a little time to completely understand the impact of the bill. But that bill isn't supported by Republican Governor Bruce Rauner, who says it lacks an important component, local control over union issues. The schools belong to local citizens, local voters and taxpayers, local residents, and the local governments do too. They should decide, they should control these issues. That's the critical point. The battle over what's considered compromise comes as 171 state workers have been laid off. Rounders administration says they have to do what they can to manage a budget deficit left to them by Speaker Madigan and the Democrats. Madigan calling out Rounder for that decision today. The governor's handing out pink slips to 171 state employees by the end of September. Is this going to increase the pressure to get a budget put together so more people don't look, lose jobs? Why is he laying people off? He claims that there's not money. That's how he's going to manage the lack of a budget. I see. Will that apply to those high-priced consultants that he's offshoring? The House will be back in session next week. The Senate doesn't return back to Springfield until August 19th. At the Capitol, Jordan Abadea, Fox News at 9.